breaking. Take a look. Bitcoin is about to have a real stochastic rest high cross. The last time we had one of those was here, back when Bitcoin was at 40,000. And from that cross, it went from 40,000 and skyrocketed to almost 74,000. Is Bitcoin about to repeat this pattern where this cross is about to explode prices? Or are there key warning signs hiding in plain view in the chart right in front of you that are gonna cause Bitcoin not to have this explosion? In today's video, we're going to break down the facts and we're going to get to the bottom. Let's dig into it. Imagine breaking free from your financial worries and achieving true financial freedom. Normally, our yearly membership costs almost $7,000, but for a limited time, you can access it for just 960, an incredible 86% discount. You'll immediately unlock live trading sessions, over 200 bite-sized mini courses, perfect for a busy schedule, exclusive weekly market reports, daily chart alerts, and a step-by-step -step blueprint to financial freedom. Plus, with the yearly plan, you're gonna get two months free and three trade alerts worth 2.4K. I literally can't make it any easier. This is your opportunity to break free from those financial worries. The price equals less than $3 per day to completely change your whole life and your family's future. Our exclusive members have seen incredible results, like Pat, who is up over 50% in his brokerage account. Worried about commitment? You can cancel any time, no questions asked. Don't miss out. This is limited time only. Visit CryptoCrewUniversity.com now. Again, that's CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Go now. Clock is ticking. Here we are. Bitcoin US dollar index and we're on the weekly chart. We've got price action above. We have a key moving average Bitcoin is trying to reclaim. We have RSI middle of our screen with a key trend line that we're trying to break. And then the star of the show, the stochastic RSI having a potential legitimate cross for the first time since Bitcoin was at 40K. Let's start with price action. So when you dig into price action, you can see Bitcoin has been range bound for well over 140 days. Over over 140 days range bound. However, it's not just any range bound market. We had these two candles from the week of July 1st and the week of July 8th have a breach of key structure, having a new pivot low and breaking below this key moving average. By the way, this key moving average is the 21 SMA on the weekly chart. It's a moving average you should put on your chart. Why? Because in every bull run, we typically hold it as support. In every bear market, we typically hold it as resistance. Where are we now? We're in decision, right? This candle has not closed yet and we recently broke it, which is not a good sign in a bull run. We had the first couple bull runs of Bitcoin's entire history never breach this line in any bull run. Case in point, back in 2011, 2012, all these, these levels here never broke. The next cycle was back here, 2012, 2013, 2014, never broke. Then the next one, 2015, 2016, 2017, never broke. The only time it broke this trend line was in the bear market. Things got a little bit messy in this cycle where we had a pivot low of 3K, we skyrocketed to 14K, we broke this and it was foreshadowing of what's to come. It was many, many months later, which we actually saw the real bottom. 168 days after we breached this structure, we saw a plummet in prices. That's the only other time Bitcoin has done such a thing, right? This cycle has been a little bit Bit messy. We breached this level back in September and we just breached it again. Now we're trying to reclaim it as we speak and we need the candle this coming Sunday, 11.59 p.m. UTC time. Watch this candle on the weekly chart and hopefully the body can confirm as support above this structure of it about, we'll call it 66K. If the body closes above said price on Sunday, 11.59 UTC time, it'll be very, very healthy for Bitcoin. Now let's get to the middle of our screen, the RSI, overbought, over sold and for the past 140 ish days we have been holding resistance at this red line here we have multiple touch points on our screen and you can see where the trend is in the rsi at the same time price action is consolidating price action is what's considered to be range bound for said period of time the rsi is in another story it's having a very difficult
difficult time recovering, and it needs to break this red line to start to change trends. The trend is clear. We have a high, a lower high, another lower high, with the low and another lower low. By definition, that's quite obviously a downtrend. Whenever you have lower highs and lower lows, by definition, we've got a downtrend on our hands. At the same time, we have a range-bound market, another sign. Now, we go to the bottom of our screen, the stochastic RSI. For three months now, this has been the story of Bitcoin's weekly stochastic RSI cross versus the two-month gravestone doji candle. That has been the storyline of the entire crypto space is these two behemoths battling each other, and we're getting good to see it play out right before our eyes. We already had the gravestone doji candle print on the two-month time frame a couple months ago, and we said the only thing that can defeat that is a weekly stochastic RSI. And two things need to happen in order to defeat the two month candle. If you're confused about what the two month candle is, here it is, right? This is Bitcoin's previous all time high, right? 2021. This is where we're at currently. And where this red candle is, is this candle here, which is a textbook gravestone doji candle printing on a two month chart. In other words, what you see is a massive uptrend. And at the top of an uptrend, you have a huge wick to the upside, a skinny body, which means the open and close was right around the same and little to no lower wick. By definition, this is a trend reversal candle. You don't need to understand candles to understand this huge wick is pressure momentum to the downside, but this is a larger time frame. So this doesn't play out the day to day to day. This plays out over the month to month to month, really providing a lot of pressure. Bitcoin is under a lot of pressure right now, trying to push it down. And the only thing that could save the day is this little old stochastic RSI cross. The last time we had a legitimate one was quite literally right here when Bitcoin was at 40K and it went from 40K to well over 73.5K. Major, major move all because of the stochastic RSI. Imagine breaking free from your financial worries and achieving true financial freedom. Normally, our yearly membership costs almost $7,000, but for a limited time, you can access that's it for just 960, an incredible 86% discount. You'll immediately unlock live trading sessions, over 200 bite-sized mini courses, perfect for a busy schedule, exclusive weekly market reports, daily chart alerts, and a step-by-step -step blueprint to financial freedom. Plus, with the yearly plan, you're gonna get two months free and three trade alerts worth 2.4K. I literally can't make it any easier. This is your opportunity to break free from those financial worries. The price equals less than $3 per day to completely change your whole life and your family's future. Our exclusive members have seen incredible results, like Pat, who is up over 50% in his brokerage account. Worried about commitment? You can cancel anytime, no questions asked. Don't miss out. This is limited time only. Visit CryptoCrewUniversity.com now. Again, that's CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Go now. Clock is ticking. So the stochastic RSI is our momentum. If our momentum continues on the trajectory it is, we have already defeated this previous pivot, which ended up being a fake out move from Bitcoin, which we have here. We had the, the cross happen when Bitcoin was at about 60K. We went from about 60K up here into the 70-ish area, 70, 71, with a fake out. And now we potentially have on our hands a legitimate one, seen rate here. Breaking previous structure, holding strong, and staying true. What you want to see is this continued momentum and you want to see this continued momentum finally get the RSI back above holding this red line as support and starting to change trends. How does it change trends? Well, it cannot continue to make lower highs and lower lows. We need to start making higher highs, right? So we have this previous pivot high from June 3rd, right? We see this previous pivot high at about 70. What you want to see is Bitcoin to recover, break through this red line, hold support at this red line and take out our previous pivot high, all right, or previous lower high, making a new higher high and starting a new trend. And what we need price to do is two things. I said at the beginning, Bitcoin has its storyline, the two month gravestone doji, which I just showed you, versus this stochastic RSI. I told you Bitcoin needs to do two things to defeat the gravestone doji. Two things. Number one, it's 
got to make a new all-time high. It has to get out of this range-bound market, which means it's going to have to hold this 21 SMA as support, step number one, and then break a new all-time high, getting up to 74,000, step number two. And what it needs to do is have its RSI make a new pivot higher high. Our previous high was 88. If you watch my videos, you know how hard it would be to break 88. If you're relatively new, I'll show you a visual, a visual representation of what Bitcoin is battling at the moment. This is Bitcoin's entire history. Four years. We're asking Bitcoin to get above 88. Why? If we don't, we're going to have a higher high in price and a lower high in the RSI. In other words, we'll have bearish divergence. In other words, that is a trend reversal to the downside. We don't want that to happen. In order for us to continue at this stage of the bull run and continue up, right, we need a higher high in price, a new all-time high, and a higher high in the RSI. But that's asking a lot given the facts and the charts, right? We look at the charts higher than 88 has only happened a handful of times you can count them on your hands plain and simple so just a heads up even if bitcoin makes a new all-time high it doesn't mean we have defeated that gravestone doji keep in mind the gravestone doji is on a two-month scale and right now we're looking at a monthly scale or a weekly scale so this is literally eight times weaker than that two-month chart we need bitcoin to do these things in order to defeat otherwise it will be a trend reversal and will make a lower low, meaning our most recent pivot low was here at about 53. And if Bitcoin makes an all-time high but doesn't in the RSI and we have bearish divergence, it's likely that will play out over a couple months and we will have a breach of this 53 even lower. I know that's not what you want to hear and you may be thinking, well, does that mean the bull run is over? No, it's likely the bull run still has power, but this is just an interim hiccup, regain some structure and a potential move later in 2020 or in 25. So rest assured, the bull run is not over. According to the charts that I study, we have what's called an interim top potentially forming and confirming, but the bull run is not over yet. It's still the storyline of the stochastic RSI versus the two month candle to really create that really firm call of what's happening in the market. But a lot has to be on Bitcoin's side. We have to regain this 21 SMA. We have to regain this and we have to have continued move upwards in the weekly stochastic RSI. I do want to draw your attention real quick to the two week stochastic RSI, something Bitcoin hasn't done since September, since Bitcoin was at 25K. That's the last time we had a stochastic RSI cross on the two-week time frame, and we are getting ready for that. That's one that can really propel some momentum to help defeat that all-time high and help really try to defeat that two-month candle. But things are getting very interesting. But regardless, we have on our hands several facts to look at. It's clear as day, and I will keep you up to date. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Josh says, Steve's courses in FFA have transformed my trading in just a few weeks. Peter says, you changed my life. JW said, don't be stupid, sign up. If I can make 16 times my money, you can for sure. When Lambo said, joining the FFA was the best decision of my life. I want to help transform your life next. Join our exclusive community, limited time only, CryptoCrewUniversity.com. Is my yearly plan too much? Not to worry. We have a cheaper monthly price. Check it out now, CryptoCrewUniversity.com.